right, what's up? Good morning, everyone. Clean shaven, ready for the day. Vlog 37. I got the eight foot wave storm. I got the seven foot catch surf log. And ready for a fun day of surf. It's gonna be solid. Um, not much more than that. Uh, maybe we'll cook something too, probably. It's like seven, it's almost eight o'clock. Let's head down to the beach. All right, we got some fun ones today. Just small, good waves. So let's get some good stuff. All right, we just got out, not having much luck. Maybe I'll try the eight foot. Um, brought it with me for that reason, see if that does any difference, but still a great day, beautiful day. What's up everyone? It's a couple days after the surfing and we're gonna make, it's Sunday now, and it was, I have no sense of time. Time's an illusion. Gonna, Make some dinner tonight. We're gonna do some yam french fries instead of regular french fries, a little healthier. Um, and then we're gonna reverse sear some steaks, do the butter, the garlic, rosemary, thyme, do all that good stuff in there, and some broccoli. It's just gonna be a good, simple meal, but we're gonna get that started right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna start off by cutting some yams. I used two of them. And then you just want to start by taking the skin off. You don't have to take the skin off, but I found it a little more helpful. It's kind of like a tr more traditional French fry. So we're just going to cut those up into French fry shapes. You don't have to be too particular. It can kind of be whatever shape you'd like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put them in some water and just let them sit. We will boil them eventually. Parboil them for about 10 minutes. Next up, we're going to be setting the oven to a very low 200 i wound up making it 225 later on and that's going to be for our steaks which we have right here then we're going to put on the steaks just some salt and pepper nothing too crazy we just want to keep it simple and we're just going to get it make sure all the edges are covered everything's covered now we're going to hit it with some pepper mm. put it all on there and you're not going to forget to season the other side and then you're going to put it on a baking sheet with a cooling rack. I put a little foil underneath and then we're going to throw that in the oven for 60 minutes altogether. I put, like I said, 225 and it says 50, but I did another 10 minutes. The steaks just came out of the oven. This is what they should be looking like at this point. They're not gonna look like fully done. Then we're gonna take our cast iron, heat it all the way up till it's almost like the oil is smoking. And it's a nice crisp there, but because I took the audio out, I cannot show you that. But you wanna make sure that you get two steaks that actually fit in your pan, not like I did, um, but we're gonna make it work. It's about a minute on each side. I found it was kind of like closer to two minutes, um, but the recipe said for one minute each side. So 
what we see is it's just uh, getting a nice little crisp um, brownness to the outside and we're gonna let those sit for in there until it gets set on both sides until the next step and you're gonna remove the steaks for a second let those sit and what you see in the pan is a heaping amount of butter rosemary and thyme you can use whatever spices you like I suggest those too and a unhealthy amount of garlic well I mean if you're me this is a healthy amount so maybe this is a healthy amount for most people but this is a lot of garlic so just be ready we're gonna get that all caramelized and cooking and then we're gonna get the steaks back in there in just a second So now that the steaks are back in the pan, we're just gonna be basting them. So that is basically creating a pool. You can leave the spices in there, in the butter to have that going, but I really kinda like to put the everything on top if I can and just have the butter going on there so it's constantly sitting on top. So just do a little flip halfway through, keep that going, and then yeah, we're just gonna keep basting until they're done until they get that nice crust. Crusty. Now that the steaks are done, we're gonna put them on the cutting board to sit for about 10 minutes. You wanna get the steaks on first and then you wanna get everything in that pan. Just pour it right on top of those steaks. You want everything to be on there and get all the freaking goodness. Okay, because you want that goodness in there. Also, shout out my mom for the camera work. Uh, she did a great job. Yeah, get it all on. Remember those yams? Well, we're frying them. You want that oil to be at 350. That took a while, so make sure you have your oil ready. And this is the finished result of all the fries. No, I did not make those all at once in there. But you want to put some generous amount of salt on there. And to the part that people are waiting for. You want to take all that off. You can it. You don't have to if you don't want to, but save that for later. You can dip your meat in there. And the finished result. Ooh. See, this is why you reverse here, people. Ooh, another angle. Hi, right, mom. And it's gonna be perfectly cooked in there. If you want it done more, just keep it in the oven longer, maybe like an hour and a half. But yeah, that's that's perfect. That is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, we just finished up an awesome dinner. Steak was great. The yam fries were knockout. Great substitution for french fries. That's all from me. Thank you so much. See you next week.